guys, welcome back to my channel, your number one source for men's health and urology related topics. I'm Dr. Robert Chan. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about where to buy penis pumps. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you where to buy penis pumps, some tips on things to look for. We're gonna look at two different models. One of these models is $500 and the other is $30. Let's see if you can guess which one is which. The first place you can get penis pumps from is with the prescription from your doctor. There's some pharmacies that have FDA approved penis pumps that you can get. Usually these are a little bit more expensive and can cost up to about $500. Insurance sometimes will cover it. I know some insurances will cover 80% of the cost and so your out-of-pocket cost might be $100. There's also some over-the-counter options for penis pumps that you can buy at an adult bookstore or on the internet. Next, let's talk about some of the key features that you want to make sure that you have when you purchase one. Most of these are going to be electric and has like an elect electronic vacuum, but it's really important to have uh, something called a quick release valve so that if there's any issues with the penis pump, you can quickly release the vacuum that's been created so as not to cause any damage. So let's take a look and compare these two different models and see which one is better. I'm gonna take some marshmallows here and we're gonna test the vacuum and see which one is stronger, how fast it's able to create the vacuum. and how the quick release valve for each works. So at the end of our test, it looks like both of these function pretty well. And so let me tell you which one is which. So this one here is the $500 one that was purchased from the University Compounding Pharmacy with a doctor's prescription. And then this one here was purchased through amazon.com for $30 without a doctor's prescription. It seems like they have some of the same elements. The things to kind of watch out for, for the ones that are not FDA approved are just making sure that whenever you're looking at the marketing, make sure it's for the treatment of erectile dysfunction and not for indication like penis enlargement. There has not been found any evidence that using a penis pump will actually lead to penile enlargement. The other distinction between something that's FDA approved versus not FDA approved is that um, these over-the-counter penis pumps um, haven't been fully evaluated and so there's always in theory a chance of injury in using these. So finally let's take a look uh, through the different components that you get with each one. First, let's look at the uh, FDA approved one that I got from University Compound Pharmacy. Comes in a fairly nice bag here. Um, you've got the vacuum device, you've got the cylinder. Uh, some other components are, uh, this, is, uh, this is something that you put around the base of it to make sure that your scrotum doesn't get sucked up into the vacuum. This is an easy application device so that you can put on the constriction rings without a problem. And then it also comes with some KY jelly and a manual vacuum for whatever reason, if you don't want to use the electronic one. Next, taking a look at the one that I bought off of uh, amazon.com for $30. comes with the uh, vacuum device, uh, very similar cylinder, and then this base component, and then also a water-based lubricant. In summary, it looks like the components of the $500 FDA approved device, and then the $30 device that I bought off of amazon.com are pretty similar in function. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the section below. Thanks and have a great day.